Chelsea dealt Usman Dembele blow as Barcelona set to open contract talks. Chelsea have been dealt a blow in their pursuit for Barcelona star Usman Dembele as the Spanish side are set to open talks with the winger over a new contract. This comes following several reports in January that Thomas Tuchel's side were interested in the French international in the January transfer window. As per Daily Mail, Barcelona have contacted the agent of Dembele to open discussions over a new contract. The 24-year-old joined the La Liga giants in 2017 from Bundesliga outfit Borussia Dortmund and is now in his fifth and final season at the club under the terms of his contract. However, the winger has so far refused to extend his deal at the La Liga side and was set to leave in January rather than for free at the end of the season. Reports have stated that Thomas Tuchel wanted to sign Dembele at all costs in January. There was reportedly a small chance that Dembele would have made the switch to London in January but it was not to be despite Tuchel's insistence. Dembele remained a transfer target for Chelsea at the end of the season, but the Blues were since placed under restrictions following the sanctioning of Roman Abramovich, preventing transfer talks until the club is sold. This could hand Barcelona the chance to swoop in and offer him a higher wage to convince him to stay. Timo Werner does not want to leave Chelsea despite thinking about exit. Chelsea forward Timo Werner does not want to leave Chelsea despite thinking about an exit this summer, according to reports in Germany. The 26-year-old has struggled for game time under Thomas Tuchel so far this season. But, as per Sky Germany, via Sport Witness, Werner does not want to leave Chelsea. Conflicting reports stated that Werner was planning his Chelsea departure and did want to move away from the club this summer. However, Sky Germany state that the striker does not want to leave despite, at least thinking, about moving out of the club this summer. The report continues to state that a move for Werner would be extremely difficult anyway, because of his current salary at Stamford Bridge. It's claimed that Chelsea would be willing to sell him, but demand at least €50 million Euros from interested clubs. It has been reported that Werner is one of Borussia Dortmund's main targets, ahead of the summer transfer window with previous Chelsea target Erling Haaland expected to depart in the summer. However, a move back to the Bundesliga would be basically impossible, due to his wage demands. Despite Borussia Dortmund's interest in the player, there are no concrete negotiations as he's simply too expensive for the club. It remains to be seen as to what the future holds for the forward, who has dropped down the pecking order at Stamford Bridge after being one of the preferred three in attack for Tuchel last season. Chelsea enter fight for AS Monaco star Aurelien Chouameni amid Real Madrid interest. Chelsea have reportedly entered the fight for AS Monaco's Aurelien Chouameni amid interest from UEFA Champions League quarter-final opponents Real Madrid. The midfielder has had an impressive season in France and has caught the eye of Europe's top clubs. And now, as per AS via Sport Witness, Chelsea enter the fight for the AS Monaco star. A report made earlier in the month stated that the Blues had already made contact with the French prodigy, and manager Thomas Tuchel is said to want him at all costs. And now is state that Chelsea and Real Madrid start with an advantage as the Blues enter the race for the youngster. The report continues to state that Chelsea pose the main obstacle for Real Madrid. Reports in November revealed that he is a player that Chelsea really appreciate, with the club keeping tabs on him for some time. It was also reported that the youngster was on Chelsea's wish list for the summer alongside national teammate Jules Kunde. Chelsea have already scouted the midfielder and will look to sign him in the future as they could strengthen in midfield in the summer. His current contract runs until 2024, although with building interest from many, it is unlikely that he will see it out at Monaco until then. However, it remains to be seen as to whether Chelsea will be successful in their pursuit but they are positioned well so far. As of now Chelsea are unable to participate in transfer negotiations due to the restrictions placed on the club following Roman Abramovich's sanctioning by the UK government. Barcelona president Joan Laporta hints at completed deal for Chelsea ace Andreas Christensen. Barcelona president Joan Laporta has dropped a heavy hint that the club are set to sign Andreas Christensen on a free transfer after admitting the Catalans have already completed a deal for a centre-back for next season. The Dane is out of contract at Stamford Bridge in July and he's yet to agree to an extension, despite repeated attempts from the Blues to better his salary. The sanctions imposed on Roman Abramovich by the UK government earlier this month means Chelsea are unable to offer new contracts to players until a sale of the club goes through. Christensen had already been minded to leave the club and he's been free to sign pre-contract agreements with foreign clubs since January 1. 
Barcelona, with their financial constraints, have been keen to sweep up players coming to the end of their contracts and they've signed the likes of Eric Garcia, Sergio Aguero, Memphis Depay and Dani Alves for free in the last 18 months. The Catalans have held extensive talks with Christensen's representatives and Barcelona president Laporta has now confirmed that the club have agreed a deal to sign an unnamed centre-back, which is believed to be the Danish international. We've completed two signings for the next season, said Laporta. One is a midfielder, the other one is a centre-back. But I'm not allowed to mention their names. Chelsea hope to find a new buyer for the club in the next month. Abramovic wants around £2.5 billion to sell the Blues, while all bids must show a plan to progress forward with plans to either modernise Stamford Bridge or to build a new stadium. Liverpool and Chelsea circling to snap up PSG teenager Ismail Garbi on free transfer. Highly rated Paris Saint-Germain teenager Ismail Garbi is out of contract at the end of this season and both Liverpool and Chelsea are among the clubs interested in bringing him in. The 17-year-old made his professional debut for PSG this season and has spent a lot of time with the senior squad, although his involvement has ebbed away in recent months. This has put his future in serious doubt, especially with his deal set to end in June and no agreement reached yet. Goal report that Garbi wants to stay in Paris, but would need some promises regarding game time, which could be hard to come by with manager Mauricio Pochettino facing an uncertain future. The report states that Chelsea and Liverpool would be keen to bring him to the Premier League, taking advantage of the situation, although it is unlikely the 17-year-old would be guaranteed a lot of first-team football at Anfield or Stamford Bridge. Garby is described as a playmaking midfielder, while his former coach Guillaume Serra told RMC, via goal, he is capable of playing in the middle, but also out wide where he can then drift towards goal. He has a keen sense of when faced with the goal, too. But he also has a lot of room for improvement in positional play and transition phases. Garby is yet to make an appearance in League One for PSG, sitting on the bench four times in the French top flight but he has made appearances in the Coupe de France and Trophy des Champions. Real Madrid's Carlo Ancelotti tests positive for COVID-19 and could miss Chelsea reunion in Champions League. Former Blues boss Carlo Ancelotti faces a race against time to be in the dugout for Real Madrid at Stamford Bridge when his side faced Chelsea in the UEFA Champions League quarter-final. This comes just a week before Chelsea face the Spanish side as they defend the European crown. The Daily Mail report that Ancelotti has tested positive for COVID-19 and his return to Chelsea with Real Madrid is in doubt. The Italian will have to return a negative COVID-19 test in order to be in the dugout for the match, giving him just seven days to do so. David Ancelotti, son of the former Chelsea boss, will take charge of their La Liga tie against Celta Vigo on Saturday and could be trusted to lead the team in London if his father cannot recover in time. If unavailable, it will be the third time Chelsea face a side without their manager due to Covid this season with Steven Gerrard absent for Aston Villa against the Blues, whilst Jurgen Klopp's assistant took charge of Liverpool's trip to Stamford Bridge. Madrid will be hoping to have their head coach back for the clash, with midfielder Tony Cross labelling the tie as one of the most difficult in the tournament. When asked about the prospect of facing Chelsea after last season's semi-final defeat to Thomas Tuchel's men, Cross said, they are the current Champions League champions, so it couldn't be more difficult. There could hardly be a bigger hurdle, but we have to concentrate on ourselves, and if we play well, it's possible to do a lot of things. We have to try to be very good because that's what we will have to be to reach the semi-finals. Probably nobody wanted PSG in the last 16, and probably nobody wanted Chelsea in the quarter-finals, but that's the way things are, and we have to accept them. That is on Chelsea News today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.